This is a certified pussy classic. Hello, guys. Welcome to episode five of Cooking with Unknown Yes. Today, we are going to be making meth cookies soaked in cat milk. Uh, let's get started with uh, cookies, meth cookies. Oh yeah, before uh, we start this, uh, I would like to thank our sponsor Heisenberg for uh, for giving us the finest and chemically the most finest and chemically chemic I cannot speak today chemically pure meth I just did a sponsor and editing in this entire so uh first off we're gonna grab uh pretend uh, shit hold on and you know what just whatever uh we're gonna get our cookie dough right here uh, grab our meth, uh, mix it in, you know, Blue food and covering. then we're gonna put them on this plate right here, this plate, mm -hmm. and then we're gonna throw it in the oven, uh, 500 degrees, that, uh, didn't hit the floor, uh, 500 degrees for wait three minutes. about 69, yeah, put it in for 69 minutes, uh, uh, 420 degrees, for 69 minutes. Once uh, that's done, it may look a little burnt, but don't worry, it's not burnt. Uh, and then you're gonna grab some cat milk. Hold on. So we have our cat right here, and then uh, let's just grab a cup, a large one. So we're gonna need it. Uh, milk the cat. There we go. We we milk the cat, and now we add it. We actually keep it as a separate cup, so that way you can dip. You can dip your meth cookies in cat milk. You can uh, pour some of the cat milk onto the uh, meth cookies, so to or add a little bit of flavor. Although, no matter how you do it, uh, it'll have that same flavor, you know, if you either dip it, if you keep the whole thing in the cup, or pour some cat milk on the, uh, mess cookies, doesn't really matter, or uh, you don't even have to have the, the, uh, cat milk, however, it is recommended for flavor. Yeah, I also have an idea from the cameraman myself, you can, uh, put cornstarch in the cat milk, and second it, and you can use it as, like, a gravy. Or a cream. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's optional. Uh, it's not recommended, though. But, who knows? Maybe you can try it one day. And it'll probably taste good. It'll probably taste like shit. I don't know. Like, uh, there's a 3% there's a chance... No, no, not 3%, but there's like a 40% a chance if you, uh... If you put cornstarch and cat milk, you'll get uh, severe psoriasis and die. Yeah, that, that's a chance, but you can take that chance. After all, that's the whole point of this uh, show, right? Yeah, it is. We don't take chances. I mean, yeah. we do take chances. Yeah, and hell, we're cooking inside of a haunted house. Yeah, we are. Where the where ghosts over there, like in, in the bathroom somewhere, in like some sort of bathroom, a house somewhere, it's probably gonna hunt and kill I, us. I think I heard a couple doors open. And I'm probably gonna shit myself. Well, I should probably go to the store and get some diapers, cause I am about to shit my pants. But yeah, if you enjoyed this recipe, uh, let me know. Chances are, I probably won't respond because I'm too busy getting all these bitches. Uh, Same thing here. Yeah. See ya.